buff. So it says the royal wards corrupted goldfish from the water, increasing your chance to find lurefish by a hundred percent. This is bullshit. What's going on, everyone? I'm going to teach you how to catch the queen's lurefish. And by the end of this video, you'll find out that you don't actually need to catch queen's lurefish in a pool. So let's get into it. And what is required? You could probably just buy it off the auction house, which would be cheaper because you do need the dotty uh, regal fish. You can throw 10 in to get your chance at 100%. So it says throw this fish back into the waters and gain a stack of royal chum, protecting the waters around from corrupted goldfish and increasing likeness to catch the queen's lair fish for 30 seconds. You can extend it up to 10 minutes. So um, you, there's a few options. Uh, it's probably cheaper just to buy it because if you have three, you only have like a minute and a half to catch a lurefish so or sorry a queen's lurefish yeah that was right so uh, is it worth it i don't know let's give it a go so we'll give it a go three see if we can break even we will have to find uh go to spider town and find a uh a pool so let's go do that now so i've been spending about uh 20 minutes flying around trying to find a royal pool Nothing yet. All right, I am still flying around. So moral of the story is the queen's lurefish is greatly undervalued. And two, it is uh, why anyone would want to spend time looking for royal uh, ripple is beyond me. But all you have to do is throw a, a few fish of the uh, regal dotty back into some royal rippers and you will get your uh, queen's lurefish. So as you can see, it protects the water around the queen's lurefish from the likes of corrupted goldfish. And so you can get them from the royal rip ribble. Um, you know what, I'm gonna just give this a go. We'll throw it into some open water and see what we get. Maybe we get something, maybe we don't, but who knows, I don't need them. And I figured I'd just show you guys the buff so you can see what it's all about. So as you can see right here, I have a, a uh, minute or so, minute and a half buff. So it says the Royal Wards corrupted goldfish from the water, increasing your chance to find lurefish by 100%. This is bullshit. So uh, there you go. I just uh, got in open water. It looks like I don't need uh, royal. Well, at least I got one. I, at least I did the video. So you don't need royal ribbon, uh, uh, royal, whatever it was called. You just need open water, I guess. I got it on the first one. I haven't got it yet, but... You know, I do have uh, some pretty high fishing, um, max fishing. Um, I think I have a hat, but let's let's see if we can get another one. Just, just because I should have maybe just thrown it. Oh man! Next time we do this, I'm gonna probably throw in like a true, um, what is it? A true, uh, true sight potion. But at least we got it right here. The Queen's Lure Fish for 81. So we broke even. Actually, we lost gold because it's eight going for 81 and we spent 89. And we lost about an hour of our time. But there you go. That's how you get the Queen's Lure Fish. That's it, guys. You can do, I guess you can catch it in open water. Uh, you just need a high enough profession. Um, that's why I would focus on getting that uh, perspection. What is it? Perspection? Perspective up? So perception up. Uh, by using potions or uh, food. Um, I have the ghoul food, which helps with that. So all of this can help you increase your likeliness of catching queen's lure. That's it, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.